Hello, Acadiana, and thanks for joining us live from Studio 10. We begin today in Jeff Davis Parish, where the request for an injunction to a recall petition to remove Elton's mayor was presented to a district judge. After a second recall petition was filed this year to remove the mayor from office, New Sense Jasmine Dean has the details from the hearing. Elton's Mayor Keisha Lemoyne says it's not over and we will continue to fight after a district judge dismissed the injunction to halt the recall petition in the lawsuit she filed earlier this week. That it's not over. This is just the beginning. Mayor Lemoyne and her attorney Cami Dominic, along with representatives for the defendants in the lawsuit, were present for the hearing. In opening statements, attorneys with the Jeff Davis Parish Registrar of Voters and the Secretary of State asked to be dismissed from the case because of a lack of subject matter. Dominic says although the defendants were granted the exceptions filed, Mayor Lemoyne still has the opportunity to file another petition to recall the second recall petition before December 28th. Um, so we are planning on doing that so it is not over and we also still have the petition for damages um, that we have against Mr. Jared Trahan and Ms. Marilyn Granger. Dominic says even though the injunction was dismissed, there is another petition against the defendants for the damages against Mayor Lemoyne. Earlier, we reported the injunction was filed a day before the governor's deadline to certify the recall petition. On December 13th, Governor John Bell Edwards issued a proclamation certifying the recall petition and the petition's vice chairman, Marilyn Granger, says she is happy with the decision made. Being that it was dismissed, I'm very pleased and the proclamation was signed and I strongly feel that the mayor, Ms. Keisha Lemoyne, owes myself and Jared Trahan an apology for all the accusations she has made towards us. Granger says when she was made aware of the lawsuit, she did not worry. I followed rules and regulations throughout the Secretary of State, Kyle Orgland's office handbook that he hand delivered to me in Baton Rouge. Mayor Lemoyne says although the injunction is dismissed, she is not giving up because there is more work to be done for her town and her people. Because my work is not done for my citizens and um, it's not over. In Jeff Davis Parish, Jasmine Dean, KLFY News 10.